Bangladesh will pay its outstanding debts to Russia in Chinese yuan rather than dollars. It was announced that Dhaka will pay $110 million in Chinese yuan to Moscow for the currently under construction Rupert Power Project. The development coincided with increased de-dollarization attempts by emerging countries and suggestions for a shared BRICS currency among BRICS, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa country members. Russia has been blocked from accessing most of the international financial system as a result of U.S.-led sanctions. After months of wrangling, a high-level team from Russia and Bangladesh's Ministry of Finance decided last week that the debts could be paid in yuan. We couldn't process payments in U.S. dollars because of sanctions against Russian banks. Russia requested that we deposit the payments in rubles, but this was not possible. So we both chose Yuan, Utam Kumar Karmaker, Assistant Secretary of Bangladesh's Finance Ministry's Economic Relations Division, was reported by Nikkei Asia as saying, Once finished, the Rupert Power Station will be capable of producing 2,400 megawatts of electricity. It will be a critical component of Bangladesh's strategy to generate more electricity while decreasing its dependency on coal. Bangladesh's Chinese currency agreement will be used to make payments with Russia. Bangladesh will settle payments with Russia through a Chinese bank, most likely using yuan reserves held by Dhaka. Beneficiaries in Russia will get payments via China's cross-border interbank payment system, a yuan-driven alternative to the dollar-dominated SWIFT system. China benefits from U.S.-led sanctions on Russia. According to reports, the U.S.-led restrictions blocking swift connectivity to some Russian institutions have cleared the door for China to push its alternative. In Russia, one of the world's top energy producers, Beijing has discovered a willing partner. Russian President Vladimir Putin stated in late March at a three-day bilateral conference with Chinese President Xi Jinping. We are in favor of using the Chinese yuan for settlements between Russia and the countries of Asia, Africa, and Latin America. Since 2017, when the yuan was added to the International Monetary Fund's Special Drawing Rights Currency Basket, Bangladesh's central bank has been increasing the proportion of yuan in its foreign currency reserves.